following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. Hello there. How are you? It's me, your Uncle Splorin Ryan, coming to you again from the front seat of a 2004 Honda Accord that is barreling at incredible speeds down the highway. And why would I be making such haste? Well, because I have people waiting on me. Heading down to Disney Springs right now in the lovely Lake Buena Vista area of Orlando. Meeting up with a couple of vloggers that you probably know. Mr. Greg George of Adventures by George. Mr. Paul Smith of Skunkin' Around with Paul Smith. Possibly a couple of other people as well. We're there on super secret business, so I can't tell you exactly the reason we're going to be there, but what I can do is bring you along and show you everything except for the secret business. And the secret business, I assure you, will not be secret for long. In fact, I believe in a week or so it'll be less than secret, but for the moment, all I can tell you is that it's great to see you, and I hope you will join us today for just a little SPORING! It's almost like we've been here before. We have been here before. Disney Springs, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Cauldron over there. Sunglass icon by Sunglass Hut because people are looking for really expensive sunglasses down here. Soka, Sosa, cigars, and yes, most importantly, right behind me, Mr. Gregory George. Adventures by, by George. Adventures by George. Right here, right you can't here. See it. Now, let me take a moment. I was trying to do shorter cuts, but I'm going to take a moment to explain something because it's been asked a lot, especially after my last vlog. You notice that right now, his shirt looks like it's reading backwards. Yeah. Because I am filming from the front of my camera with the mirror uh, effect on it. So while it looks like uh, Greg is is off to the left of me, Greg is actually off to the right of me. So hold on. You say if I turn around the other side, it'll come in normally. Try that. Yes, I am. Adventures by George. Did it work? No. Hold no. on a second. Let me think this through again. I don't think it worked. It doesn't work. Adventures by George. You're going to find the link down below like you usually do. And remember, when you see it, you want to click it. No, no. Don't click it. Not the way he wants you to click it. Just click it normal. A normal, wholesome click. That's what I'm asking for. If you want to click it sensually, this is the one. Who, this is the subscribe. Who said anything about clicking sensual? <laughs> That's what you always say, though. He's got sensual clicking on his mind. Uh, you know what? Since he brought it up, give him a sensual click. He enjoys it. And, uh... Let's see what we can find. I have already filmed a few uh, Disney Springs vlogs. But this is the first time I think I've ever actually filmed it in the daylight when it's not pouring rain. So, this is a Wednesday night. It's kind of busy. It's going to get even busier. But again, Sosa, Family Cigars, I think it's Sammy Sosa uh, and his family uh, started that, owned it, something like that. Uh, the United World Soccer uh, Store, the Sunglass Store. But the two big ones right over here, Marvel, as in the comic books, and Star Wars. Both have theme stores of their own, so when you are down here, it is your duty as an American to get your butt down to those two stores and buy me a shirt. Look at those crowds. And there's a Sherpa. We are obviously about to get hit, but uh, who wore the outfit better? That woman or that man? A beautiful evening, Central Florida sky, clearing up right here at Disney Springs. 
with a concerned looking Norms wondering why I'm filming. And half of her shirt is gone. They have a what now? A Star Wars grill. And? And Yoda koozies and Star Wars oven mitts. And that is over there at D-Living, or as I like to call it, D-Living. Located right here next to the Antropopola Lava Sheet Watch out, you can poke your eye out with that thing. We're going to call you Ralphie. Kind of a big moment for me, the Coca-Cola experience, store, candy kitchen, whatever you want to call it. I've, uh, I've heard a lot about this, but I've never actually seen it or been in there because I avoid this area like the plague. But if you want to see it, it's next to Planet Hollywood, the observatory, I believe it's now called. Gosh, probably my mid-20s. I was an extra on several television shows, one of which was Family Matters. Showing your age. Yes, I am. The one was Steve Urkel. They filmed down here in Florida at Epcot Center. And for the wrap party, they invited everybody, including me, the extras, and everybody. And I went up to the top of that Planet Hollywood, right up there, and I was the only extra to show up. Needless to say, I was a little uncomfortable. I sat in the corner, and as I was leaving, I got to shake Jaleel White's hand and say, have a great night, buddy, and I left. That was a very interesting talk. Now, I'm not allowed to tell you exactly why we were hanging out outside of the, uh... Here's a, here's a hint. The giant balloon. Here's a hint. Smada. Yeah, it's backwards, but... It's smada. If you read backwards, smada. you're good to go. Smada. smada. Uh, but... You can always reverse the video in post. Show some initiative. Uh, reverse my video. Don't no, you will clues. find out shortly why we're outside of this, uh, this, this pokey oh. thing right here. And make sure, once you do figure it out, you leave a comment below as to why we're doing it and how you figured it out. What are you, some sort of psychic or something? I'm actually very impressed over here at the Disney Springs uh, Starbucks. Somebody actually brought their work to do here. Now, there used to be uh, food trucks for all the parks, but I only see the one today, which is a little odd. Right here, right here for your viewing pleasure is Bongo's Cafe, Cuban Cafe, which is uh, actually owned by Emilio Estevez. Gloria Estefan. Gloria Estefan. Thank you. Are we in Chicago? No, we're in Miami. Time to play. Will you sing a Disney song? Will you sing a Disney song? That's a no. Will you sing a Disney song? I think you're contractually obligated to sing a Disney song. She'll do it. Would you sing a Disney song? People are rude. Nobody will sing a Disney song. Well, I only ask one person. All right, we'll ask one more person to sing a Disney song. <laughs> we just realized that Paul disappeared like five minutes ago, and none of us have any clue where he is. But, uh, but there he is. What did you get? Green slime. A lime goofy glacier. And is it in fact goofy? Yes, they no longer have the lemon goofy glacier. It's now uh, Minute Maid lemonade. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try it one more time to play. Will you sing a Disney song? All right, these don't look like they speak English. Who will sing a Disney song for us? Who is going to sing a Disney song? Who is gonna sing a Disney song? Okay. 
this is Ryan. And he's gonna record. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let it go. Good grief, she could actually sing. Oh, wow. Um, actually blown away by that. That young lady could sing. I'm not even going to make a joke or anything like I usually do. She's just really good. So, uh, young lady, if you happen to be watching this at some point, good for you. Heck of a horse. Exploring. So, Reagan, Paul, and I, we're gonna go do Disney Quest, but, um, which is right over here for another, like, three days. But, finding out that it actually closes at 9 o'clock, which was, like, 15 minutes ago. So, uh, I would love to show the inside of Disney Quest one last time before they bulldoze it in a few days, but me thinks that's probably not gonna happen unless I can sneak away sometime this weekend, which is much easier said than done. Sorry, folks. I am definitely going to uh, miss this building. Absolutely beautiful. Might be the last time I see this amazing sign. For what it's worth, I like Disney Quest. I am definitely gonna miss it. R.I.P., my friend. Also going away at the end of the year is Lanuba, Cirque du Soleil. December. It will actually be doing its last performance and then they're just gonna blow it up. They're, they're gonna shut the lights off and the building is just gonna It's gonna turn into the NFL experience. One last view from the Disney Quest store. Which again, the time you watch this will probably be some sort of NBA experience store. Sadly. Look at that. They've actually got the doors to Disney Quest open. There it is. Leftovers of Disney Quest. I'm sure everyone is going to miss it. Are, are you going to miss Disney Quest? Are you going to miss Disney Quest? Yes. So fun. Yeah. Personalized. Yeah. RIP Disney Quest. Happy customers pouring out. One last time. Exploring, I got a question for you. All right, what you got? Last time I was here, I thought this was a automatic like nose cleaner, but what, what, what is this thing? Uh, I'm pretty sure Paul knows what that is. So our friend Ralph is going to go away in just a few short days uh, as soon as Disney Quest closes. I understand he's going to be fed directly into a tree shredder and then uh, buried under It's a Small World. So can we have a, a quick moment uh, of silence for our friend Ralph? <laughs> I did not realize this existed and I'm not sure if it will exist in a few days. Fix it Felix Jr. Break it Ralph. But I understand from uh, our video game expert that uh, you could actually get it for some of your home systems. As a matter of fact, you can get it for the Sega Genesis, and uh, believe it or not, there's an Atari 2600 version of Wreck-It Ralph. That is awesome. Just learned something very interesting about this artist right here. All right, take two. Just learned something very interesting about this stuff. This? Yes. No, it's not this, it's that. Take three. <laughs> take three. Just learned something very interesting about this hat. My hat? It's black. Actually, this artist is the exact same artist that did the album cover for Issues for Corn. The exact same artist. Very familiar. You can look and see that you know it's very similar to the doll that's on the thing. Aren't you glad you guys stayed around for that joke? And on that note, post. in that note, post. we are going to sign off from the beautiful Kisewa 
Yen Seed, which is actually the name of the uh, the wizard, by the way, from. Uh, no, uh, Yen Seed. Yen Seed was the wizard from uh, the Fantasia. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Wizard of Oz. New, new. Bye bye Disney Quest. I'll miss what? you. From outside of Disney Quest, which you cannot see anymore by the time you see this vlog, we're signing off. On behalf of Green Goopy, oh, skunking around. Adventures by George. Reagan. Adventures by Reagan. <laughs> and yours truly, Uncle Sporn Ryan. I'd like to thank you for stopping by tonight. And always remember, when you are out and about, keep an eye on the time. Oh. Sporn.